JLARC recently reviewed state efforts to protect farm workers from hazardous pesticide exposure. State law directs the departments of agriculture, labor and industries, and health to do the work. Agriculture licenses thousands of farm workers who apply restricted use pesticides. This ensures that they meet standards for knowledge and safety. The department also conducts pesticide safety trainings. Both are done in English and Spanish. Agriculture and LNI each inspect farms to ensure they comply with pesticide safety laws and rules. They don't routinely share information about the inspections. In contrast, if there's an incident that involves a potentially hazardous exposure, the agencies use a formal agreement to coordinate their investigations. The legislative auditor recommends agriculture and LNI create a formal agreement to share inspection information. This will help target resources and avoid duplication. State law requires healthcare providers to report pesticide poisoning cases to the Department of Health. Most cases, however, are reported by other entities. Health has stated that pesticide poisonings are underreported and has not added pesticide poisonings to its electronic case reporting system. Health also has not developed a program to teach healthcare providers about pesticide poisoning as required by law. The legislative auditor recommends health allow providers to report poisonings electronically and establish a medical education program. Agriculture, LNI, and health recognize the need to coordinate, but they don't manage the work as a system and don't know if their efforts prevent or reduce pesticide exposures. Adopting leading practices in collaboration will help. The legislative auditor recommends the agencies define the common outcomes, monitor progress, and share information to improve prevention efforts and administer programs. You can read the full report on our website.